We do diamonds, we can do emeralds, sapphires, any stone really. Open wide as possible. I like to call it mouth jewelry. I went from job center to selling the most grills. And here's how I did it. <laughs> so you just did it. Yeah. Nah, I am serious. <laughs> So after taking a mould, we're going to fill it up with some plaster. I've wanted a girl for quite a while. I dress a bit different, I like jewellery, so I just wanted something to accessorise with. So a grill, it's like a casing that goes over your teeth. All types of ethnicities and walks of life have come through my doors to, you know, get grills. After the plastering, what will happen is doing the wax work. Casting is the process of turning it from wax or whatever material into metal. We're going to go and take this to Just Carstens on Hatton Garden, see how it comes out in metal. Before jewellery, things in my life just wasn't going right for me. Not everything was legit back in the day, if you know what I mean. So obviously there was trouble and things that could happen. <laughs> I decided I wanted to start making grills from 2017. I have a cousin who made grills at that point of time and I saw what he was doing and wanted to help him do it. Once I got into jewellery, things started going right for me. Making grills is a lucrative career. The most I've probably made in a week is about 10 grand. There's ups and downs with things in the business. You've got lots of money coming in. It's just learning how to manage it all. How are you, mate? <sighs> I'm all right. Good are to you? see you. What are you doing today, teeth? Yeah, got some teeth for you, man. So once I've handed this to Theo, he was going to begin the process of casting. Someone will carefully prepare it onto what we call a tree. The wax gets melted away, leaves a clean impression inside the plaster, which is the perfect thing to pour molten gold into. Jay must be very good at what he does because he seems to be selling a lot of teeth. So right now we're in Hatton Garden. I lived here all my whole life, right above London's jewellery quarter, like on Hatton Garden. So it's kind of like fate, luck, destiny, whatever you want to call it. Ooh. I was born at home alone with just me and my mum. Uh, Why are you leaning on me kettle? Mm. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a mummy's boy because I'm her only child. So I helped you to get your first workbench. There was people coming in and he was doing really well. And all his friends was lovely. They always used to say, hello, mum, hello. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> I had two benches here and literally I, ha I would have someone sitting down just here. Even sometimes I had to tell people to wait outside my house, <laughs> like. I would say I'm a hard worker. Been told that I'm a workaholic. Your income depends on your effort <laughs> and the work that you put in. What you're basically seeing here is me just doing a quick tooth. From doing grills and things like that, I've learned a lot about doing teeth. Not as much as a dentist, obviously. Something fresh out like this, you would then go through the grades, basically sanding it down to a point where you're happy with it, there's no scratches, not everything, and then you give it a polish. Everything on my table is customers' moulds to wax up. Get so busy out huh? <laughs> here, there's loads of people. <laughs> I come here, like, I've come here a couple of times now, so uh, we just knew it was a good place, so. This is nine carat white gold with some VS diamonds. Can go up from about 600 pounds to about 6,000 pounds. Right, cool, just head over there. Yeah, these ones are fine. You take a seat right here. All right, and here it is with a nice Great little outside. window. Thank you. What? Thank you so much. I'm really happy with them. No Thanks worries. So. I definitely come back. Good. I'm happy you're happy with them. <laughs> I love what I do, to be honest. I get to wake up and do what I want, and what I want is to make jewelry and grills. 
I never wanted to work for someone and I never wanted to work a job that didn't make me happy.